Each man must contribute to the spirit, and the spirit really is the cohesive force that binds 11 hardened, talented people into a team, into an irresistible force. You know that each day you must inspire yourself really, and motivate yourself to win, if you want to put it that way. And I might add that winning is a habit, just like losing is. Winning becomes easy after a while if you stay with it. I want to talk then a little bit about the effort that's needed, the quality of leadership when I talk about those qualities of leadership. And each Sunday afternoon, or each Saturday afternoon after the battle, one group savors victory, and the other, they live in the bitterness of defeat. And the many hurts is a small price to pay if you've won. Yet there's, to the loser, nothing, no reason really is adequate enough for having lost. To the winner, there is 100% elation. There is 100% fun. There's 100% laughter. And the only thing really that's left to the loser, if he's a man at all, is resolution and determination. And it's like life, too. I think, like life, it demands that each man must make a personal commitment. If that victory and that excellence must be pursued, it must be wooed with all of one's might and every bit of effort that we have. And each day there's a new encounter, each week is a new challenge. All of the display and all of the noise and all of the glamour and all of the color and all of the excitement and all of the rings and all of the money, these are the things that really linger only in the memory. But the spirit, the will to excel, the will to win, these are the things that endure. These are the qualities, really, that are larger and more important than any of the events that occasion. Just as the flow of all of our daily efforts are greater and more enduring if they create in each one of us a person who grows, one who understands, one who really lives, and one who prevails for a larger and more meaningful victory, not only now, but in time and hopefully in eternity. And I want to say this, that the quality of each man has to be the full measure of that man's personal commitment to excellence and to victory, whether it be in football, or whether it be in selling, or whether it be in whatever business it may be. And these are the qualities that we need in our country today, I might add. And it teaches, too, that work, just as you know this, and sacrifice, and perseverance, and a competitive drive, and a selflessness, selflessness, a respect for authority, the price that each and every one of us must pay to achieve any goal that's worthwhile. 